Hi and welcome to this gameplay video of Apnea for Daydream VR. My name is Sebastian and this channel is called Daydream District, bringing you the latest and greatest of Daydream VR. So if this is your first time here and you would like to stay up to date about anything Daydream VR, consider to subscribe. Apnea is new on the Daydream Play Store and you can get it for $2.99. So what is Apnea? Well, it's an underwater stealth game and it's a very, very interesting one. What you see right now, I'm setting this up, and basically it will measure your breath. So you have to put your microphone, your, your headphone microphone under your nose. So it will de detect your breath and also it does detect your steps. So simply by stepping on the same spot, you will move forward and actually it works really well. And um, overall, the immersion that you get from this game is pretty fantastic. What I didn't show you in the very beginning, I had to give the game access to my microphone, no problem, because of course it needs it to detect my breath. So now, here's the beginning. We are on this old and rusty ship and we're just about to figure out what is going on here. And here's a, here are a few documents. And we find out now that an American submarine has sunk and on this ship was a prototype of a new nuclear torpedo. And our mission is to retrieve that torpedo. Let's see what else we can find here, what documents are concerned. And we have a map here and also on the table there, sitting down there, let's have a look at it. We can see the schematics of the submarine, of the American submarine. Yeah, so we are the Russians here. Yeah, We are the Russians and we need to get this American prototype, which is hidden in the submarine. So let me check the schematics a bit longer. I had email conversation with the developer and the developer told me this game is not easy. This is not an easy game and he told me do check out the documents on the ship, on the boat before you go down. Well okay I did so now. So let's see what's happening next. So let's simply walk a bit around. As I told you walking around works by simply really walking around, walking on the same spot in real life and your phone will pick up this kind of up and down movements that your head is doing when you move around and it will really translate your movements into movements in virtual reality and it works great. So here's the diving suit and uh, it comes with an integrated Geiger counter which will help us to detect the nuclear weapon that we are about to find. And this looks very old school, this diving suit, very, very old school. Probably this is the 19... 60s or what? 70s? It's very very cool. And now I have this suit on and what I told you before already in terms of immersion this feels great and especially once you have this diving suit on and you look through this kind of little window yes it does feel very very cool and I can't wait to jump into the water and check out how it feels to be in the water with this diving suit. So let's get up and let's get into the water. So of course now with this diving suit I also only have a limited amount of oxygen that's in this oxygen bottle. And the interesting thing is that my breathing gets detected by the app, by the sounds that are coming out of my nose because I have the microphone directly situated under my nose. So the app knows exactly how often I breathe and I think this is a very exciting gameplay mechanics and now we're going into the water and let's see what's waiting there for us. So now I'm floating down to the ground and around me I can already see some fish and here this is a Mephistophiles game with the collaboration of a pop-up asylum. Good. Hello to the developer. And um, yeah, this is the title, Apnea. And here is the ground already. And the same like on the ship, I'm walking by, really walking on the same spot in the real life. If you don't want to walk on the same spot, you can also use the alternative controls. In this case, you simply use the touchpad in order to move forwards or sideways or back. And it also works nicely. So you can also play this sitting and enjoying this game in your swivel chair. However, I would recommend you stand up and you walk just like I do because it really, really helps the immersion. So now check out these little 
oxygen bubbles which are coming out of my mouth. The cool thing is they are only coming out of my mouth once I really breathe in the real world since the microphone is picking up the sound. Now this works really well and of course it increases the level of immersion a lot. So right now I'm walking in the same space and well I'm having this suit on and whenever I breathe you see those bubbles coming out. Wow, very very nice. So let's see what's next. In terms of presentation and graphics and sound, the developer has also done a great job and actually he told me that this is an upgrade over the Gear VR version. And you can really tell, there are like swarms of fish around you, the, the sea grass is like floating in the water, you see all these bubbles going up and uh, there is a shark. This is also what the developer had warned me about. He told me there's a shark and I should be very, very careful. Actually, he said, I should stop to move and hold my breath. <laughs> so that's probably where the name comes from, Abnea. So again, this of course helps the immersion. Well, the game detects your breath and you really will have to hold your breath in order to survive. That's, well, at least that's what the developer told me. And very soon we're going to find out ourselves if this is actually true, yeah, well, of course, we would believe the developer. Okay, and here it happened. The shark just attacked me and I'm dead and I have to start again. Okay, so definitely I should listen to the developer and hold my breath in order to get past the shark. So let's try this again. So again, we're floating from the top down to the ground here and do not waste oxygen. You never know when you will need some extra air. I really like this gameplay mechanic that they do check your breath and actually they will calculate how much breath you have left depending on how often you breathe and how much you breathe here. Very very cool and now that I've played this game for a couple of minutes it's super super immersive. I do feel like I'm on the ground of the ocean here and when the shark just attacked, wow, it did give me like a little scare here, I have to be honest with you. So this is still the very beginning of the game. There's much more to come. and uh, But still, I do would like to get past this shark at least once. However, I was told it's not easy. So this is definitely a stealth game where you have to be very, very sharp in order to succeed and in order to get past this shark. So let's try it one more time. When you look down to your hand, you see this Geiger counter. And with this Geiger counter, you can tell how close the weapon is that you're looking for. So once this reading gets higher, it means like you are on a good way. So now let's check out this entrance over there. If we get so far. So I'm holding my breath right now, actually. Well, when I was recording this video, of course, at that time I was holding my breath. Not now, since I'm doing the voice over here for this video, but it worked. So now, as you can tell, I walk into this entrance and I can have a look here and the shark did not attack. So it does work. It does work. Simply hold your breath and stop for a moment in order to let the shark pass. There's nothing in here, no entrance to the submarine. So this is definitely the wrong place to go. Probably simply an old ship wreckage. So I have to go out again, out where the shark is. And uh, let's keep on exploring here. Oh, this sound does not sound too good. And this is, oh yeah. Okay, so again, I'm dead, the shark ate me. And uh, well, in terms of the sound, they also did a good job here. It sounds a bit like Jaws from Steven Spielberg when the shark is getting close to you. But now I just saw it too late. Pay attention to the Geiger counter noise. It will guide you to your objective. All right. Anyways, in this 10 minutes gameplay hands-on video, it seems like I'm not going to survive this white shark attack for now. So it's up to you to survive the white shark and find the nuclear weapon that is hidden in the submarine. And you can do so for $2.99 off the Play Store. The game is up near and it gets a full recommendation from Daydream District. 
to sum up again what I like, it's the immersion. The immersion is fantastic. You have to walk in the same spot in order to move. You put this microphone under your nose so the game detects when you breathe and how fast you breathe. And this actually really plays into the game because you need to hold your breath in order not to be detected by the shark which will eat you. And here it is again. The suspense is real, especially like now I'm holding my breath and I hope this shark goes away until I have to breathe again and then I could finally find the weapons that are hidden in the submarine. Well done. So do pick up Apnea for $2.99 off the Google Play Store if you're into highly immersive games and into stealth games. And that's it for this hands-on gameplay video of Apnea for Daydream VR. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you haven't subscribed to Daydream Disc yet, do so now. Keep on daydreaming and see you in the next video.